for once, it's not a green screen. Welcome to my mansion in Firenze, or as we like to say back home, Florence. Today, I decided to fly to Italy just to do my Challenger Pick'em, and because it is the day of my daughter's wedding, I got dressed up. But I am not here alone, so I brought James with me to do this Challenger Pick'em to make it that much more special. Of course, today's Pick'em sponsored by Asone, the best CS2 headphones on the market. All day wear, comfort for eight hours of gaming, no exhaustion, no fatigue, clearest footsteps that you'll ever hear on Vertigo. Okay, make sure to pick up a pair of these bad boys. James, why don't we introduce the outfits? I guess we'll start with me. I'm wearing uh, my girlfriend's clothes, actually. I don't know what this is called, but it's very comfortable, very stylish. I went for the light green. I've got a pair of Tom Browns on the bottom and uh, some pants that uh, you wouldn't believe how much they cost. James, I think it's time for you to take it away. All right, I've got a brand new velvet tailored dinner jacket made by Faith Brook in London, made in England, thank you very much. An ivory shirt to go with it. The party bow tie, the uh, the chini shoes as well to go with it. The socks from Thomas Pink and the trousers from Faber Brook as well. Marvelous stuff. And of course, watch of the day is the Santos from Cartier, all scratched up by my keys because I'm an idiot, but there we go. Lovely, okay. So yeah, that, that's how my cameraman, cameraman's dressing, just to let you guys know like the magnitude of the operation we've got going on. So why don't we cut the slack here and skip right to the Pickums, live from our, our Italian mansion here in Firenze. All right, so how this is going to go is because I know who the winners are, right? I know who the winners are, but I didn't choose them. I've got to make sure that you guys don't get mad at me for this one. I'm going to start with the O3. The most popular O3, and sadly the team that I'm going to pick as well, is Fluxo because we casted the America's RMR. Unfortunately, Fluxo were barely good enough to qualify and didn't impress in their lost games. For me, they were one of the weakest teams at the NA RMR, which unfortunately for North Americans makes them one of the worst teams in the world. So Fluxo, best stickers, worst team. That's my O3, I'm gonna keep it simple. Now I'm gonna go from top to bottom. I'm most likely to least likely to make it through. And from the seven teams that advance, as you guys remember, you just need five picks, including your 3-0, your O3. And typically the good advice is to never jeopardize your 3-0 your by picking a team that would go through, but it might not be a 3-0 team. Because if they go through regularly, they you still get the point. So, of course, I'm not even gonna play games about this. Faze are here in the challenger stage. They're gonna be the first pick to go through. The next of the bottom seven to go through for me, that should be quite obvious. I'm gonna go most to least obvious. G2, of course, not gonna play games with that one. And then I'm going to go with Mouse Sports. We're going to take Monty here, and I might rearrange in a second in case I made a mistake. Uh, but picking liquid, that's not one. That's not a mistake, okay? Um, now we're down to Greyhound, Complexity, Gamer Legion, Apex, OG, Fours, Nip, okay? Nip and Ents would be my two most likely to go through. Now I think that of one of the teams on the bottom, I'm going to pick them for the 3-0. I think Complexity have a chance to get through and I wouldn't be mad at you for going with that pick. I think for now, when I did my IEB match calculator, which we're all gonna get wrong on round one because Monty are gonna destroy phase. I had Ents as my 3-0. I think it's possible Ents don't go through. I think it's possible they actually go 3-0. So since I believe in that, I'm going to leave them here. This leaves one spot open for another team to advance. And at the moment, there aren't that many good choices. I would say at the moment, I would lean towards fours and I would lean towards OG. And for today, I think I will pick OG. Now OG have not won a lot of their most important games along with Nip. Uh, fours have sort of trended down since we last saw them pop off at Pro League. So I'm not exactly as comfortable with them either. But I think right now OG seem to be getting a little bit better and closer to the ability of being able to qualify through something like Legend Stage. And they have some experience at Rio as well. So for now, that's my loose pick at the end. This is going to be the seven teams that will advance the 3-0 team events and the 0-3 team of Fluxo. And there it is, the pick them locked in one day before, but just in time to make sure you get 100% correct. James, can you can you give me a sanity check on these? 
Okay, well, mine was similar to yours, but I put OG in the 3 0 spot. I had uh, Forza in there instead of Monty, but everything else is pretty much the same. So, pretty reasonable. <sighs> You know what? Based on that information, I'm gonna switch OG and Ents because I think that I could see OG not qualifying and I think Ents will qualify more certainly than OG. So OG are gonna be my 3-0 pick. It has the James Emerald uh, <laughs> Emerald Tux touch, okay? And we're gonna update the picks, lock them in, and that's it. That's all you need to make sure you get through the challenger stage. Stick around, we're gonna have the legend stage coming up and then the championship stage. I will be going to cast Paris after to after my uh, daughter's wedding here in Firenze. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and hopefully I'll be able to keep up how special this one is with the Legend Stage pickup. Stay tuned.